Okay, this video is about practicing opening and closing your elbow for bowing. This is a very important bowing technique, especially when you're playing sort of medium fast bows. So the one way to do it is just to do it in the air like this, and you wanna to try to hold the top part of your arm still. So you could just air bow, Mississippi, Mississippi. And if you see this part of your arm still, and this part moving with your elbow open and close, it's like open the gate, close the gate, then you know you're doing it correctly. This part has to stay still. I'll show you one really silly thing. If you're bowing and your whole body is wiggling around like you're doing a hula dance, that means you're not <laughs> opening and closing with your elbow. It means you're usually kind of using your shoulder too much and using the whole body. If you're doing it correctly, the rest of your body should stay still. You could have somebody hold the top of your arm but from behind. I'm holding in front because that's how I have to do it from by myself to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Another fun way is you could take a marker and draw a smiley face inside of your elbow. I made a purple one. And you could play. And you wanna see that when, you're, when you start, the smiley face should be hidden because your elbow is bent. And then when you pull the down bow, you should see it. Hiding, so it's like peekaboo. There it is, now it's gone. There it is, now it's gone. Another trick for a younger child is your parent, you could just put your finger in there and have the child play Mississippi, Mississippi, and the little smiley face mouth can eat the finger every time it closes. Sometimes some kids find that really fun, as if the finger's in there and every time you close the elbow, it's like he's eating your finger. Um, another thing is the parent or a helper could just take pinch your fingers and hold at the elbow for, gently from the outside while the child or the student bows, Mississippi, Mississippi. Um, a, a last way that I wanna demonstrate that you can get that elbow motion, this would be better for an older or an adult student if you're practicing on your own. If you wanna stand up against a wall, I have my screen here. You don't wanna stand with your back directly. My screen's about to fall. You want to stand rather at an angle so that your the upper part of your arm is flat against this the wall. And then what you would do is you practice bowing so that the wall is preventing the upper part of your arm. But even if you imagine this to be a straight wall, you have to be a little at an angle to do this. You can't stand this way because then your back would be touching it has to be the back of the top of your arm so that your forearm is free to open and close. That's a great way. So you're sort of at an, an angle with the wall. It's a great way for an older student or adult to practice this.